Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing this makeup look right here. I really, really enjoy how it looks. I really, really like how this looks. My hair is kind of a mess, but like I kind of am living for it. It's just like in a messy ponytail, but I'm living for the way that I look right now. Yeah, that's basically it. Like, I love, like, it might not show up on camera because my camera, it likes natural colors only and that's it. Um, it does not like any kind of colorful looks that I do because it never picks up the true color. Um, because I've done pink looks before and purple looks before and it never showed on camera the way it shows IRL. You know what I mean? So yeah um the purple is like really purple like it's purple purple like you could tell that's purple and the yellows is like a mustardy yellow it's not like a true yellow it's a mustard yellow and i really like it together this is really out of my comfort zone i would never do anything like this but then i was like you know what let's freaking do it and i did and i love how it looks but if you want to learn how to get this like spring like colorful makeup look um Spring is not until a while, but like, it's okay. Um, but if you want to learn how to get this look right here, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so my brows are done and I'm ready to go. Um, but I do want to say real quick that my hair, I know it's a hot mess. It will be done um, at the end of this video. Um, I just don't feel like doing it at the moment and it is kind of still wet um you can kind of see it it's still kind of wet at the end so I don't want to put any heat on it you know I'm all about not putting heat on my hair when it's wet um but I am gonna go in with this palette it's just a small little palette and there's a color that I want to take for a transition shade um this is the model's own barely there too eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna be taking this color right here just as a transition shade for the purples that we're going to be using today i am going to be taking let's take this brush actually it's clean i haven't used it in a hot minute this is the wet and wild crease brush i believe it's called um but i'm just going to take that color and just put it into the crease as a transition And then we're just going to go straight in with the purple with this Profusion Pro Pigment Palette. Let's take Disco first, just as, just to build the color, the color purple up a little bit. I don't want to just go in with Go Girl first or uh, Devoted. I just want to go in with Disco just to see where this goes. So I'm going to be grabbing this Morphe M441 brush. It's just a fluffy brush. It's just a little bit smaller than the wet and wild one though um so yeah this one's more fluffy and this one's more like it's more like that it's very yeah whatever um but i'm gonna take disco and i'm gonna put that also into my crease Now I'm going to be taking the color called Go Girl, which is right here with the same exact brush. And I am going to take a bit of that and put it on the outer part of my lid and also my crease. Alright, so I'm going to be grabbing the Dominic Latte palette. And um, I'm just going to be grabbing the color called Double Shot. Um, and it just looks like that. It's so pretty. Um, but I'm going to be taking that, um, on the same Morphe brush. So I'm going to take that double shot color and put it on the outer part of the eye and also the crease. Why is it looking like that? Can you guys see that? I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, we're gonna have to grab something else to cover it because like, I don't know why it's doing that and it's really, really annoying me. This is the IB, IBY, yeah, IBY Beauty Crease Brush. It's just like this small little brush and I'm gonna grab um, Devoted just a little bit 
And I'm going to... No, actually, tap that off. I'm going to go in with this Ulta palette right here. And I'm going to go take this color right here. A little bit of it because it's really pigmented. And I am going to put that in the crease just to deepen that up a little bit more. But not on the outer part of the eye, just the crease. So now I'm going to be taking um, this Super Stay Foundation by Maybelline. This is in 110 Porcelain and I put some on this little plate right here earlier um, when I was cleaning my brows. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and um, cut my crease. Just have cut crease. Nothing like extreme. And then I'm going to grab this Jaclyn Hill palette collaboration with Morphe. And I'm going to be grabbing this color right here. And then the brush that I'm going to be using is this Wet n Wild flat brush right here. Um, so I'm just going to take that color, the yellow color, and just pack it on where I concealed. I feel like I look like some kind of Muppet. Like, what is this? Like a bird or something. <laughs> like, I'm trying to figure out, like, what I look like. I'll pop a picture right here, what I look like right now. I think I'm going to take some concealer, well, foundation, um, and take a clean angled flat brush. This is very thin. This is um, by Posh and it's a brow brush. Um, it's very thin, it's like just there. Um, and I'm gonna grab a little bit of concealer on the tip of the brush. I am going to start it all the way um, from down here to the inner corner and then go all the way out and kind of wing it out a little bit. You guys will see where I'll, where I'll go with this, so I just need quiet right now. <laughs> I really like this. This looks really cool. I'm going to take this Ulta Automatic Eyeliner in Black Brown and I'm just going to tight one real quick. And then the mascara that I'm going to be using is this Ciate London Wonderland Mascara um, in Black Magic. And I'm just going to pop that on. And then I'm going to pop on these lashes. I don't know what they're called. I know they're from Eyler, but I don't know what they're called. But they'll be down below for you guys in the description box, um, as everything else will be. Um, and the glue that I'm going to be using is this Duo Lash Glue. And it's the dark tone one. So, yeah. So I'm going to be grabbing that. Alrighty guys, so I did my whole face and I didn't do my hair because I think it looks kind of cute, like all messy and like in a hoodie and maybe like, you know, um, but I feel like I need this look to be a little bit more glam, but I am going to go in with this ColourPop Gold State of Mind palette and I'm going to be grabbing the color called Pay the Piper, I believe it's called. Uh, yeah, I think so, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, it's this orange, yellow, gold, um, shimmer shadow color, yeah. And, um, I am just gonna put that on the center, like, right here, where it blends to yellow to purple. I'm just gonna be putting it right there, just a little bit, not a lot. Um, I just feel like it needs a little pop of something, 
So I'm going to be grabbing this Morphe flat brush. It's a long flat brush. Grabbing that color. We're gonna go in with all the colors that we took in the crease on the bottom lash line. And then I think we're gonna do like yellow on the waterline. So I think I'm gonna pack on that shadow that we took on the lid on the lash line. Do I wanna do that? I don't know what I wanna do. I'm gonna grab this IVI Beauty um, crease brush that we took earlier um, and just grab the first color that we used from the model's own palette um this color right here and just put it on the bottom lash line and then we're gonna go in with the profusion palette and go in with this go with the same brush And I'm gonna go pretty low, I think. Um, lower than I usually do on my bottom lash line. Oh yeah. And then I'm gonna grab Go Girl, which is the next color that we used, um, right here, with the same brush. And then I'm going to go in with this color in the um, Dominique palette, which is called a Double Shot. And then I'm going to grab the Ulta palette and grab the last purple that we took, which is this right here. And I'm going to grab that on a... It's a finer brush, if I can find one. This Morphe definer brush right here, it's just very like straight and thin and all that jazz. And I'm gonna grab that purple and go really close to the lashes. And then I'm gonna be taking um, that yellow shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette, this shade right here, and I'm going to be grabbing a wet pencil brush, well not really a pencil brush, I'm just going to grab this one right here, um, this is just a small flat brush, um, and I'm going to wet it, really like wet it, and then not just like damp it, I'm going to really wet it, and then, um, grab that yellow, and just put that on the um, waterline. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in with my favorite nude combo. Um, this is the Posh um, Matte Lipstick by Milo, right? Yeah, Milo Cosmetics Posh Matte Lipstick. Um, and I'm just gonna put that on with this Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick in Sen Nude. This is so good. Oh my god. Um, but I'm just gonna put those two on. Oh, and I forgot to say, I also um, did something different to my bottom lash line. I didn't just wet the brush and apply the shadow. I applied this first. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk. And then I grabbed a dry, small brush and uh, grabbed the shadow and packed it on there just so it's easier and yeah. Um, but for my inner corner, I do want a gold like shine there. So I'm going to be taking this Jaclyn Hill palette once again and I'm going to grab this color right here and... Yeah, I'm going to use her and put her on my inner corner. And I honestly think that's it with this makeup look.
yeah so if you guys like this video if you did give this video a thumbs up this is really out of my comfort zone if you've been subscribed to me for a hot minute this is really out of my comfort zone um especially these colors together i would never do but they really do look really good together in my opinion um i like them together but if you like this look, give it a thumbs up. Also, comment down below what you guys want to see next. Um, do you guys want to see, like, um, I don't know, like, a black smoky eye? Because that's what I've been thinking of doing with blue glitter. A black smoky eye with blue glitter. I've been wanting to do that for a hot minute, so maybe that will be next video. Just let me know down below. Or maybe a natural look, um, something natural next video. Just let me know, and I'll get on it you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button it's a big red button um and also watch this video right here um this is the last video so go check it out um if you want to go check it out i mean like might as well click it press it click it <laughs> and yeah so i don't think there's anything else to tell you guys but i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video bye